Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> it's me, Naya. Um, it's Monday morning, November 1st. It's my first day of work. Luckily, I only had to um go to the office <laughs> right down the hall. But um, ooh, I found me some hair wig glue, so I was able to glue that down, but now I need to fix it. So um, I got on a blouse, but I just got on some leggings because I'll be at the desk. <laughs> um, maybe some coffee this morning, maybe some toast, put a little um, vegan butter, because y'all know I'm still doing my no meat um, diet. But Babe and Jaden are here. Mason and Jeremiah went to school, but Jaden's here because he has my cold, the cold that I thought was COVID like last week. Jaden has it, so. Hey, good morning, Jada. <laughs> yeah, he's here staying home from school today. <clears throat> Everybody has a little bit of it, but it's not horrible. Jada, he didn't sleep much last night because he was up just with a whole bunch of mucus in his chest. So, that's why he stayed home. But, good morning, y'all. Um, They say we're going to be working from 9 to 5. I hope it's not that long. Um, But, if it is, it is. I will check in, you know, I think we get a lunch break from 12 to 1. So I'll check in around this. Maybe you want to say hey? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's hot. I'm trying this um, dairy free creamer, almond creamer. Um, it's not it's not my usual this is what I usually like the caramel macchiato I love this one but it's full of sugar and I mean I don't know just trying to take a healthier route to everything so let's see this if they had a caramel flavor in that one then it would be really really good but they can ready to go mmm Mm, love you. Have fun with that. Okay. See you later. <laughs> I'm not going to school. I know you're not going to school. I know. Dad going to get some blow with me. Mm -hmm. Love you. Bye. Bye guys. Yo, why is it 8.53? I'm supposed to be in a meeting at 9 o'clock and my computer is just looking at me. Like literally. <laughs> Like seriously, come on, like what the heck? Remember those days, those L's, I couldn't sleep right now. I get paid, fake games, stay in peace. I breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. I wake up good, you're so grouchy. Please get from around me. When the truth don't work, you start telling lies Thought you were down the ride, you weren't down the ride Caught switching, you were picking sides Don't blink, caught slipping like a slip and slide I was shooting dice till I got a nosebleed Money on the floor, can't get cold feet Took an L, shoulda put it in the whole free Lord, forgive me for my sins, don't know me Scary thoughts, I got scary thoughts Lost control, now I'm taking charge Breaking bills, friends breaking off Bye. You could be the youngest, I'm the d d Kiss the ring, nah In the scene like GOT Stay awake, don't sleep Like Jon Snow, get R.I.P. Remember those days, those L's, I couldn't sleep right now I get paid, fake I'm staying peace I breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right You could be my peace sign I don't need that energy around me I just need sun, you're so cloudy I wake up good, you're so grouchy Please get from around me <laughs> Just me, myself, and I, my favorite threesome yeah. The cars I drive up by, I never lease them no. They say if you can't beat them, then you join them no. That's no option, I don't join, I always beat them yeah. 2,000 years later Good morning, beautiful people Today is Tuesday um, I know it's been a while since I vlogged I don't know what's been going well, I actually do know what's going on. I've been working. Um, if you've seen one of my recent videos, then you know that I started working. <laughs> um, 
right now it is virtual so that's really good we are today is the last day of online training so tomorrow i have to go to the office to meet with my supervisor to you know just get some paperwork signed and all that stuff um also y'all probably like where her hair i cut my hair you might not know this either but i went natural um december December of 2020 and I cut my hair and it has grown so much so yeah I'm rocking my natural hair at least for the morning when it's time for my meeting then I'll put my wig on um the boys are up and ready we're getting ready to take them to school come on guys get your book bag please if you want your jacket get your jacket don't forget your mask Where's your jacket? probably in your room that's your book bag Jayden. that's Mason Mason stop stomping Here's your book bag. You did nothing. Did Dad, did you did you do any work yesterday? You didn't do no school work. <laughs> uh, let me see if there's anything in here I need to sign. No. Mason, come on now. Fix your jacket. Guys, you didn't say good morning either. Good morning. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, here's another mask. Jaden, this one's clean. Mason, what you gonna do with this hoodie? Good morning. It's probably not even cold. Let me see. You guys, the funniest thing. So, we used to live up north. And right now, up north, it is freezing. Down here in Florida. Oh, my gosh. Look at, look. Look how beautiful it is. Is it cold? Let me see. It's a little chilly, but it's not, like, I need a winter coat. Like, they do have to up north. Cold. It's not it's cold. cold. It's a little chilly. Jaden, hang on. My car's in the garage. What are you doing with this jacket, sir? I what are you help. doing? It's definitely inside out. <laughs> Beautiful morning. Um, but I got on here to tell you guys what my plans are for today. I'm gonna take the boys to school and I need to go to Walmart to pick up a few things. Um, this is inside out, please take it off. <coughs> Bless you. I need a desk chair because the chair that I've been using hurts my back. And I've been using it for like two weeks now. And because I know that we are going to be seeing clients virtually, I need a better chair. <clears throat> so I'm going to run to Walmart real quick. My meeting today starts at 9.30 and it is 9.50. <laughs> it is 7.55. Here, yeah, put this jacket on if you want it. <sighs> there. Come on. Where's your book bag? All right, let me get my bag. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's go, guys. Okay. The water that you didn't drink yesterday that you claimed you needed so bad, I saved it. You didn't touch it. <laughs> Can you put a new M on top? It is an M. Come on, man. See you guys at Walmart. All right, you guys, I just pulled up to Walmart. It is 8.15, and my goal is to be out of here by 8.45 so I can get home. Oh, shoot. Where's my mask? So I can get home and get ready for work. Get <laughs> my mask. Oh. <clears throat> All right, so let's get in so we can get out. Ooh, hope y'all having an amazing Tuesday. Uh, got a list of stuff I want to get. So. There shall be no. What do you call it when you're just walking around and not doing much or nothing? There'll be none of that. <laughs> I'm on a mission. Let's get in here. I like that. Oh. Alright y'all, that was a fail. And the reason why is because when I went in, I saw a chair that I liked, but then I didn't like it because I want something a little fancier. Like, I want it gray and I want it like suede or that velvet material. And I didn't see that there. Um, I almost got that black chair, but I changed my mind. So while I was over there, I saw the fishing area and 
for the past like few weeks we have been gone fishing and so i just picked up my fishing license <laughs> which took a while because i wasn't in the system because i'm a new resident so um she had to enter all the information in the system and it took a while actually it took up the bulk of my time so i just went ahead and grabbed some things that we needed we needed some juice and we needed dinner i got some chicken wings and i hope they will fry some got to my car and saw all this stuff that i picked up from either home goods or ross that i have been asking babe to hang <laughs> we still haven't hung anything we have not hung a thing um so i had to throw all my stuff in here but i pretty much got the kids some juice boxes the honest kids i was looking for capri signs they didn't have any i got some chicken wings um what is this oh another juice box these are some like lemon drizzle cakes i got some grapefruit because those are bomb some strawberries and blueberries no blackberries uh, what else some coffee i had to get more coffee i got some bread and then some smoothie stuff and oh the juices babe's juice is back there so i'm gonna lug this stuff in the house and then go ahead and try to get ready to get to work on time it's 905 and i need to be dressed and in the office at 9 30. i'd like to get there a little early so we're gonna see if we can make it do what it did <sighs> catch y'all in the house y'all hey guys good morning welcome back to another vlog it's naya um i know it's been a couple days since i um uploaded footage i think the last bit of footage that you guys saw was from a couple days ago when i was coming back from walmart um i just got back from walmart again <laughs> um so i mean i don't really have anything planned for the day specifically but i just wanted to pick up the camera and say hey because i have been saying that i wanted to vlog more um yeah don't mind my appearance either i've been rocking my natural hair for a couple days and i really like it um i did pick me up some black dye though because these gray strands are not trying to let me be great but let me show you something that i picked up from um amazon this is i want to say is the um it's just like that mirror that everybody talked about from ikea this mirror was only 109 it's huge yeah i see it it's huge and i love it so much and then i want to show you guys what i did to my closet i love it <laughs> look y'all i got a little bench in there my little mirror i'll close i love it i put my shoe rack together and babe got his shoe boxes over here but i love what i've done with this space i really do it's so like it's a i don't know it's a small closet it's not a huge walk-in but it's big enough for me to do this with it and i love it so yeah i've been doing little things here and there to try to make the house feel more homey and warm and welcoming um Look what I did over here. I mean, I still haven't hung this clock. <laughs> but I did go to um, Walgreens and start picking up like some little Christmas decor. This is the cutest little thing. Merry Look. Christmas, everybody. <laughs> we wish you love it. The kids love it. I also ordered um, a new desk chair. I think I was telling you guys about my desk chair, how it was hurting my back. So I ordered a new desk chair love it love the fact that it has wheels so i can roll over to the printer and i did order a new desk as well so i haven't put that together yet um so i have been doing a lot of shopping <laughs> i got my first paycheck and i didn't know what to do with myself um so yeah that's what i've been doing i'm gonna uh, put this stuff away i haven't eaten yet um so I did pick up some yogurt, but I did pick up some stuff from Walmart um, that I want to show you guys real quick. So I got a little tree. This is a little two foot tree. It was $10. I'm going to put it in the boys room um, because they wanted to take that little tree, that little tree in their room and that little bear. But I was like, no, that's for the living room. Um, oh, look what they, have you guys seen this? When I saw this in the store, I was like, oh, okay. This is new. Where is it? Hold on y'all. It's in here somewhere. Here you go. Have y'all seen this? I thought this was so, like, 
different. It's Ritz crackers dipped in chocolate. I think these are gonna be so good. <laughs> um, so yeah, oh, and I also, so, <laughs> So last year, uh, I did Elf on the Shelf for the first time. And I was like, I am not buying that expensive Elf on the Shelf. Like I was not, I wasn't gonna do it. So I went to Dollar Tree and they had these. So they had these little elves here. And that's what I used last year. Oh, and I really like the fact that they have black ones now. Like this is so cute. I got two. One is a girl and one is a boy, I think. Yeah, here's the boy. Super duper cute. But while I was at Walmart, I saw the Elf on the Shelf and I was like, you know what? I gypped them last year. Even though they had fun, I just had to use tape to hold the hands onto stuff. If I have a couple pictures, I'll insert them because I don't think I vlogged that of what the Elf did. It was so funny and cute. But I was able to find, it was the last one. Little Elf on the Shelf. He was $30, like, sir. But he is black. So I was like, he's very light. <laughs> he's very light skinned. And then you know it comes with the book, the story of the whole elf on the shelf. So I think the kids will really like it this year. I really think they do. I mean, they will. So got that, which I was excited about. Got a whole bunch of like Christmas snacks and stuff. I really need to clean up. This house is a mess. I got the... Christmas tree cakes. I got the little gingerbread um, Christmas cookies and the chocolate um, chocolate Ritz. And then I also got what is this? Oh, some North Pole little nutty buddy things. And I did get some. Um, I got the gingerbread houses for the kids too, because. I don't know if you guys know, but I am doing Vlogmas this year, so I'm trying to prepare. <sighs> trying to prepare for that, because that seriously is a job. That is a job, for real. Um, and I also got this cute little set. I hope it looks right on me. Hold on, y'all. <sighs> Should have been more organized, but I got this cute little set, which I thought would be cute for like lounging its wide leg. And then they got this little cute top and it's kind of like turtlenecky. Um, so it was $20. I was like, let me try it and see. If I don't like it, I can take it back. But yeah, so like I said, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to show y'all. I did get like little ornaments for the kids, the little boys Christmas trees. Got the little blue bulbs and then I got a blue, um, star somewhere y'all i'm a mess oh, i don't even know where it is anyway <laughs> when we put the tree up then you guys will see i'm starving i'm about to get me some yogurt or maybe some nuts in it and then that'll be my breakfast a cup of coffee and then i'll be heading into the office to do some work i do have a training um it's for like authorization so that's today at 12. This shirt is so comfortable. <laughs> that's today at 12 from 12 to two. So that'll be a long training. But other than that, I think I'm going to eat breakfast, try to tidy up a little bit, put the dishes and stuff away. Um, just get little stuff that's laying around the house. And, and then it'll probably be time to either get Jaden um, from school. And then it'll be uh, after that, then it'll be Time for my training but yeah i just wanted to hop on real quick and say hey because i know uh, i've been talking about consistency and i haven't been consistent which sucks because i really love making videos i do but i just i haven't had the time that i need to dedicate it and then also um the editing software that i use have been super glitchy like i tried to upload the last video it took me like six days to try to figure i had to watch so many videos because it's not exporting so i don't know what's going on with it i'm using premiere pro adobe premiere pro and it's been acting weird so <sighs> i will check back in with you guys in a little bit <laughs> Yeah. 
lovely, baby. Oh, you know you love them, girl. Man, they quit now. I'm trying to do a video. Where are we at? Where are we at? Hey, what's up, y'all? Babe here. <laughs> I'm trying one of these chocolate covered right. Ritz. I think it's gonna be good. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good. Have y'all tried these? Oh, wow. And then the butteriness comes in last. Mmm. Mmm. It's sweet, salty, and then buttery. Mmm. Follow. I'm good. Right. Who keep okay. taking all the cups? Mm -hmm. oh People goodness. using them. I'm gonna put me some in Ziploc bags. I'm gonna go get um, Jeremiah from school. Because I don't know if this is only an issue where we live, but there's a shortage of bus drivers. So Jeremiah's bus is like over packed. Like he basically has to run to the bus stop and run to the bus after school to get a seat. And a lot of kids are sitting on the floors or cramming into them um, them seats. And it's like, it's ridiculous. Sometimes they leave kids at school because there's nowhere for the kids to sit. Come back, get Come back and get them. Oh. Never. Okay. But um, yeah, it's crazy. So he was like, Mom, can you please come and get me so I don't have to try to fight for a seat today. So I'm on my way to get him. Babe is gonna get Mason. Maybe some coffee, go up my little crackers. Um, so yeah, so I didn't get a chance to tell you guys this, but Jeremiah did extremely well on his report card. Um, he had been struggling with school. He just doesn't like school. He hates school. He hates everything about school when it comes to the work. Like he likes to socialize, but when it comes to actually doing the work, he doesn't want to do it. He hates it with a passion. So when he got his report card um, at the new school, he did outstanding. He was like, I don't have no friends. I don't have anybody to socialize with right now. And I just focused on my work. So I'm like, well, let me see your grades. He had one, I want to say he had one C, the rest A's and B's, which is a huge accomplishment for him because he just never really applied himself before. So in order to, um, you know, Say congratulations on good grades we got him the iphone 13. we got him the iphone 13 i want to say it was last week it was actually on the 9th when it came and today is the 18th so it hasn't even been a whole week yet well actually yeah it's been a week it's been like a week and two days but somebody stole his phone yesterday and the thing from school so he was trying to be nice. A boy came up to him and said, hey, can I use your phone? I don't have mine. I need to call my mom, it's an emergency. So being the Jeremiah that he is, he was like, yeah, you can hold my phone. And then the boy took off with the phone. And so then when Jeremiah went after him and was like, where my phone? He was like, oh, I let somebody else hold it. And Jeremiah was like, what? So he went to the um, security, the sheriff that he had at the school, did a report. Um, and so when Babe went up there to the school to see about getting the phone back, he said that he wanted to press all, sh all charges, all charges, because that's a $1,300 phone. And that is, I think that's a felony. Anything over $500, I think is a felony. So Babe was like, yeah, I want to press all charges because Jeremiah ain't do nothing to that boy. And it's just so unfortunate that people these days are really like this, especially kids. Like. If somebody doing something for you out of the kindness of their heart, why would you take advantage? And it's just like, do you even understand the consequences? Like, yeah. I think they would say it's jail time behind. <sighs> behind it. So we did a police report. Um, gave them the phone serial number so it can't be pawned or, you know, activated anywhere else. And the bad part about it is if we never get that phone back, we still have to pay for it. I mean, he did have the protection plan that covers, you know, loss or theft, but you still have to pay for that old phone. And then when you get the new phone, you got to pay for that one too. So it's like you're paying for two phones and you're only using one because somebody wants to be, yeah, it's sad. It's sad. And Jeremiah was so hurt. He woke up this morning and he was angry. Like I was expecting him to be angry yesterday when he got home from school, but I think him being able to come home, get on the game, kind of distracted him a little bit. I left my whole purse. 
kind of distracted him a little bit so he wasn't like it hadn't hit him i don't think but then this morning and jeremiah is attached to his phone like most of us are like we always on the phone so when you don't have it and then it's like his debit card information is on there it's just so much it's just so it's uh yeah he woke up angry like i got up extra early because he leaves out at six like six o'clock so i got up at like 5 30 and i was like let me go check on him see how he's feeling and it hit him it hit him this morning like yo he took my phone and i don't have i don't have a phone and i don't know if i'm gonna get it back and he was just he wasn't he wasn't sad he was mad and when jeremiah get mad it's different because he's not you know he, he don't get mad he don't get mad he has his moments but i don't know i was like jeremiah don't go retaliate if you see the boy just let the sheriff know that you saw him go point him out he was like huh and i said if you see he said i heard you but he said if i see the boy then i'm gonna deal with it and i said no <laughs> I said no don't do that just let the let the sheriff know that you're seeing him because i don't want you getting in trouble because of something that he did because you feel like now you gotta retaliate no and then you never know who they know who might it's just a never-ending cycle and that's how people really get hurt so i told him to just don't worry about it we'll get him another phone if we have to um and it's no big deal but yeah, it's crazy. So I'm getting ready to go pick him up, check on his mood and everything. I might take him to get something. I don't know. He really likes KFC. KFC is right up the street from his school. So I might take him to get KFC, one of them chicken sandwiches, his absolute favorite. And then hope that helps a little bit. And then find out if the sheriff heard anything. But I will check in with you guys once I pick him up. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm up here um, by Jeremiah's school waiting on him. But a little update on the crackers. Um, at first, they good. <laughs> but then it's like the butter and the chocolate. Yeah. I don't know. It's like, yeah and a no. It's like good only if you eat like three or four. But if you try to eat like any more than that, it's going to be nasty. Mm. Um, take a break in between them. It tastes a little weird after you eat too many. But, yeah. So, I'll pick you guys back up when he get in the car and see how he's feeling. <laughs> Jeremiah don't want me to vlog, but I was going to ask you if you wanted to go to KFC yes. to make you feel better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, he said the boy didn't come to school today. Um, so, he said he was looking for him, though. He was looking for him. What, what was you going to do, Jeremiah, if you saw him? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> you were going to go tell the sheriff like no, I told you. No. Yes, no, you were. No. Ma, yes, you I, were. I, know, I know you can get what I know you can guess what Dad said. No. If I see him. No. Yes. I don't care what Dad said. You, I don't want you to go to jail because he I'm stole not, your phone. I'm he's not. already going to go. He's already going to get in trouble for stealing the phone. That phone is over a thousand dollars, which I think is a felony. Which so is, that's jail time. But if you attack him then you for could stealing? possibly yes you're not the police it's kind of like self-defense it's not if he steals it's not at all me. that is not self <laughs> no it's only self-defense if he hits you or something then you have the right to defend yourself but if he steals your phone you know that's not self-defense that's, yeah, that's, that's retaliation still that's still stealing it is still stealing but stealing doesn't mean that you get to go beat him up Anyway, Jeremiah, right, stop it. Anyway, we're on our way to KFC to get Jeremiah his food that he loves so much. <laughs> I wish y'all could see Jeremiah eat this day going sandwich. I swear, it's like I'm not gonna show him. Jeez, I'm not gonna show him because it is quite interesting. It's like you can tell it's the best sandwich he's ever had in his life. <laughs> I did not know how it was the rest of school day. It was cool. Like always. Yeah. Yeah, I was telling him, like, you've been doing good in school. Like, I don't want you not to start not doing good because mm -hmm. 
something dumb happened that had nothing to do with like school and work. And I continue to do good. What was the test on? Uh, what, uh, elements, compounds. What class is that? Science? Science? Yeah. Well, I guess we'll see you guys at the house. Do this. Oh, let me see your let me see your braces. I don't braces. Seriously, really? <laughs> I was gonna say how straight your teeth were. I mean, yeah, they're getting straight. But, like, but you did not brush your teeth today. Brush. Too angry. Too angry to brush your teeth this morning. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we just pulled up to Walmart. So this is my second time at Walmart today. <laughs> but when I picked up Jaden from school, his teacher said that she wanted the boys to dress in a white shirt and some black pants. Jaden don't have no white shirts. I purposely don't buy plain white shirts because I know they're gonna get dirty. So I gotta go in here and try to find him a white t-shirt and some black pants for her little, whatever she's doing tomorrow. She's doing like a pilgrim theme picture, I think, so. Yeah, she's having the girls dressed in brown and gold, and then the boys in black and white. So, I can never vlog in this Walmart because they play the music so loud, and I would get copyright. Um, I would get a copyright uh, strike. So, I never vlog in here, but I'll show you guys if I find anything. Come on, Jeremiah. Hmm? Come on, talk about you staying in the car. <laughs> hmm. Come on, I'm just going to get shirt, pants. And maybe something for dinner. I think. <laughs> right, let's go inside. Ah, oh, that shit fit him. Found it. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for get like these stir fry to put on um, cauliflower and even like my broccoli to make like steak chicken. <laughs> it's good. But yeah. Just have to put this stuff away and get started. Jeremiah, come on, put this ice cream away. Yeah, Jeremiah got some ice cream. And the boys really like these um, these little pancakes right here. They are good. Especially with a little butter on top. Right off the right off the griddle. Anyway, I'll be back when we do dinner. Babe, I told you I was getting the carpet for the room. <laughs> I'm tired of me shopping. 
<laughs> Throw them all the stuff you got in the hallway. I know, I did. Hey, baby, so this, yeah. this is the box from the mirror that I got. This is our Christmas tree, our nine foot tree that I did not put up yet, or that we didn't. This is the box from this clock. <laughs> That's the box from, oh, my desk, desk chair. This over here is the box <laughs> for my desk. Um, and I think that's it as far as all the new stuff I bought. I showed Mason his Christmas tree for his room and he's all excited about it. He's like, where are the bulbs? I said, I got you. Some blue bulbs with a blue star and lit up it is so pretty. Well, when I get it all hooked up, put it in their room, then I'll show y'all what it look like. But we are definitely getting in the Christmas spirit. Like emotionally not, not physically because we haven't done anything to the house i gotta pull out my christmas box and um you know see what i got and see if there's anything else i need to buy but yeah have y'all started thanksgiving shopping yet i know thanksgiving is right next week i don't have a thing but when i was at walmart i did still see turkeys i know there's supposed to be like a turkey shortage but i still see turkeys at my walmart and to be honest we're not even really big turkey fans so I usually will just get a turkey breast and that'll be it. And then we just eat on that. And when it's gone, then we're fine. As long as we have ham and um, what other meat do we do? Like meatballs and stuff, we're good. So yeah, but this year I'm gonna try to continue to be meatless for Thanksgiving. So I gotta make it interesting. And I'm just glad I'm not vegan <laughs> because I cannot, uh, I do not want to know what vegan mac and cheese tastes like. Although, my mother says she found this vegan restaurant in Baltimore that has some really good vegan mac and cheese. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I always feel like mac and cheese is a hit or miss when it comes to the vegan community. Like, I, it looks all right, but I don't know. But anyway, I'm starting to ramble a little bit. I'm browning up this ground beef for the tacos and then I'm gonna make mine with just some black beans. I got a whole bunch of cans of beans up here that um I just been snacking on. Like if I don't know what I want for dinner, then I'll just grab me either a can of beans or make me a salad. But I have um, black beans, pinto beans, kidney beans, white beans, <laughs> uh, navy beans, yeah. And they always keep me a thing of um, spinach, and I always have some fruit. I meant to get me a big bag of walnuts because look at my bag, y'all. I've been snacking on these things like crazy. I got like a couple crumbs in there and this is the big bag. So look, tore them things up. They are really good and they do help curb my appetite, especially if I put it in like my oatmeal or I put it in my yogurt like I did this morning with some fruit. It's really, really good. This whole meatless thing is not as hard as I thought it was going to be. And I feel really good. And, oh, I didn't tell you guys. So when I went to the doctor, um, before she told me about my cholesterol being high and put me on medication for it, I was 140 pounds. Today, I am 132. So I've only been meatless for, it's probably been like a good solid month now. And... Yeah, the weight is finally starting to fall off. And I notice now that every morning when I get on the scale, I'm one pound less than I was the day before. So it's finally at that point where it's like steadily coming off. In the beginning, it was kind of slow, but now it's steadily coming off. And to be honest, I don't want to get super skinny. <laughs> I've been super skinny before, like really, really skinny. And I don't want to get back there. So I'm gonna have to, try to figure out how to stay healthy, like how to keep my cholesterol down and still gain healthy weight. So, but yeah, my stomach, look at my stomach. It has really gone down a lot and I'm not sucking it in. Like, at first it looked like I was pregnant. It still does a little bit, but not as much. I looked like I was like five months pregnant before. And in just a month, I look like I'm only two months pregnant. So <laughs> that is a huge plus. So yay to this diet for actually working and not and me not feeling like I'm missing out on too much. 
although I do miss fried chicken. It's a Zaxby's not far from us and they have those spicy, it's sweet and spicy um, wings and they've have been tearing those up. Every time I get them, they smell so good. But I'm like, no, I'm good. I'll just have my beans and burrito. 